thanks for whoever posted that question. Um, I think uh, I think it's mixed, isn't it? I mean, I think uh, and, and, and I think for, for those of us here that work in schools, or for those of you that have been out on your you know your student placements, you'll have been in schools um, that have made good use of technology in schools that have made not quite so good use of technology. And sometimes that's down to people, and sometimes that's down to equipment, and sometimes that's down to, to, to policy. Um, if I was to, to sum up briefly, I think that um, if we're serious um, about developing Scotland as a knowledge economy, um, if we're serious about having a reliance in the future about digital skills, and at the moment I don't necessarily think that we're preparing our young people quite as well as we could um, in terms of digital skills, in terms of, in terms of Scottish schools. Uh, and that's partly because I think at the moment we've got our argument wrong. Uh, when we talk about ICT in schools, we, we focus far too much on kit rather than about pedagogy. You know, we, we try and get young people to produce wonderful PowerPoint presentations in graph and Excel, which will have absolutely you know, no benefit at all, probably to the knowledge economy you know, and, and, uh, and, and developing society and developing learning, whereas actually we should be thinking more about the use of ICT as a pedagogical method. You know, how can we actually use ICT to generate authentic audience for children, to encourage motivation? How can we use ICT to make sure that we've got real-time data that we can bring into the classroom um, to encourage, encourage motivation? And most importantly, the thing that we do know about ICT, digital technology with children, is incredibly contemporarily relevant at the moment which means it's engaging, which means that we get this kind of wonderful buy-in, you know, if it's used in the right way. So I think we need to completely, you know, change our, our approach of how we look, um, look, at, look at technologies in the schools. Um, is, it, uh, is it addressed appropriately at the moment in initial teacher education? Again, I'd say that was fairly mixed, you know, across, across the whole of Scotland. There are some teacher training institutes that do it very well. Um, there are some, I think, that could be doing it a little bit better. Um, but also we need to be thinking about um, undergraduates and also teachers as well, and actually how much should they be taking on responsibility for their own learning, and maybe that's about becoming upskilled and using technology, and again making sure that you use that at a pedagogical level as well, because some of the resources that we saw from the Scottish Book Trust, you know, it's perfectly, it's perfectly possible to go online, you know, to get very, very good online CPD, and then the very next day, we can be using these tools in the classroom. And, and as I always say to teachers all around the country, is that, you know, if you're any doubt, just ask for another 30 ICT experts in front of you. Well, Personally, as you know, as a student, having been on placement, uh, I have had mixed kind of experiences with ICT in school. There's been some teachers who have just used it because it's there. They do handwriting on the board when they could have done it on the entire to board site when they could have just done it on the board, but they feel like it's there, they have to use it. Um, I just feel that I'm not very good with... The, my last place I had a smart board in my class and the teacher used it for games, but she never took the time, no matter how many times I asked for her to, uh, to teach me how to use it, sorry. Um, so I feel that was a waste of my time and resource, so I never used it, whereas I think it could have opened up a lot of opportunities within the class. So maybe I myself would be looking on the CDA website for more CPD and this is 